If you're watching this right now and you're excited to find out about the big hidden secret bunker information, hit that thumbs up button right now. Smash it. Show this video a load of support. If you are new to the channel, subscribe for all of the latest Fortnite information. And thank you everyone on the screen using code Ali. Pop it in. It goes away every two weeks and you can get a shout out in a video just like these guys. Now when it comes to Fortnite secret bunkers, the one that you'll definitely be thinking of if you've seen any of the new ones is this bunker area right here. Code named Redacted and with no information on it yet. We're not going to be focusing on this one, guys. This one is no doubt going to play a huge role within the chapter two. To seasonal storyline. I'm 100% sure about it. But this thing, although it's absolutely giant and unbreakable, is very much separate to the bunkers we're going to be focusing on. We're going to be focusing on the hidden ones around the map that's been found from the beginning of chapter one as well. This one here, we've already done a little bit of a theory video on it, actually is a very similar and matching door to save the world in the intro of the storyline to save the world, matching a Vindatec door, which is actually a huge part of the Fortnite save the world storyline. We're not going to go into that more secrets will be revealed about this thing as the chapter progresses, but we're leaving it alone for the moment. The story we're covering is even bigger. With the brand new seasonal map changes, a lot of the map obviously was flooded, but the levels are lowering, and actually the recent lowering of the level has revealed one of the chapter 2's bunkers. There are actually three of these on the map, and this one is pretty well hidden. If we take a look in here, oh my gosh, hidden under a bush and actually was underwater until all these map changes happened. This is one of three of the low Locations. If you simply try and break it open with your pickaxe, it's one of those unbreakable objects on the map. To find the other bunkers, we're going to have to do a little bit of exploring. This bunker right here, if you want to find it yourself, is literally on the edge of the map, pretty much in line with Retail Row, off to the right-hand side. The others are really separated. We are now going to be heading to the northern point of the Fortnite map, and actually to a part that is unfortunately underwater at the moment. Soon it should be uh, back to being above water level. Now, if we take a look here, you may remember me showing this at the beginning of chapter two. If we go into this little cabin to the bottom, Oh, look at this. We found another one hidden and tried to be covered up as much as possible on the map. The third and final one is by far the hardest to find. I've actually not found it yet within the new watery season, but I'm going to assume it's still there, just hidden more than ever under the map. The reason I say it, it isn't going to be the easiest thing to find is that it was already underwater before the flooded map happened anyway. So this thing is now really, really underwater. You could go from these little stone statues underwater head out a little bit and find the third bunker. But it looks like potentially it's been wiped out. Connecting these three different bunkers creates basically a triangle shape. But more importantly, the spacing and the positioning of these are in the corners, all separated by like an equal distance. It's worth noting, I haven't gone back and looked at the original bunkers. They have actually changed a little bit between chapter one and chapter two. In the original chapter one bunkers, there was like little windows. You could actually peek in a little bit and you could actually break in. I broke in a few times. Or even just go into replay mode and find that there was actual space under that bunker door. The space contained pretty much nothing, but it was there. It was built into the game. And as we know, throughout the entirety of chapter one, nothing was ever done with the bunkers. However, more were added as snow biomes were added in. They actually covered one of the bunkers in a giant mound of ice, hoping people wouldn't find it. And as the map evolved, more little bunkers popped up. The same exact thing was replicated in chapter two. However, these bunkers, no way of looking in. It's completely black over by metal now. No little holes for your eyes to peek through. And even if you glitch it open or glitch into it, it's now got no underground area. It's literally just there as an unbreakable part of the map with huge mystery. Now, the fact that these bunkers have existed over chapter one and chapter two, and also the fact that Fortnite decided not to tell us what their use was in chapter one, has only aided in finding out the answers as to what these things are being used for. The fact that these bunkers have returned for chapter two tells us that these bunkers are needed on the Fortnite map. Also, these bunkers are hidden. Fortnite don't want us to find them. I mean, you've got one hidden in a bush on the edge of the map under a hut and then even in the water. Fortnite have put them there. They need to be there. We can't access them. They're hidden away. Their meaning is so elusive. Thanks to the huge live event that happened at the end of last season and the talking Jonesy, or as I like to just call them talking Fortnite skins, we know that there is like a big overlord almost. A load of people that is actually watching everything going down on the Battle Royale island that oversee absolutely 
everything and are arguably in control of a lot of what's going on as well as the cycle of the battle royale map repeats itself over and over and over so this is what i believe is happening and it hit me the other day and if you've got any other ideas if you agree with my ideas do let me know down below with these bunkers when it comes to the fortnite map knowing that there are people watching everything that's going on seeing everything that's going on you could say it's safe to assume that things can be controlled and things can be changed by these talking fortnite people mr jones himself that we actually met on the phone in the live event he seems to have a lot to do with it and there's even skins based after him within battle royale however if they wanted to go ahead and change anything on the map it does leave a big issue with the fortnite map infinitely being used there are a few times that the map could be used and accessed with nobody knowing as we know the fortnite servers go off for a few hours every other week or so for big changes we have huge downtime before a big season and magically we come back to changes within the fortnite world let's work out here how would these changes actually happen well let's assume that the fortnite talking skins are within the same sort of world as the battle royale world they would need to access it somehow and this is what i believe the bunkers are used for simply an access point for the talking fortnite people the controllers of the fortnite battle royale world to enter the map head on in change and do whatever they want to it and then head back out again the reason the reveal for the bunkers and the fact that additional bunkers were added in in the original chapter map is the fact that they didn't want us to know what's going on because we're never meant to know what's going on we need to work out this answer ourselves and i believe this is it with a new snow biome in the original chapter a new snow bunker popped up so they can access that part of the map and do whatever changes they want to it within the chapter two map the three different bunkers are equidistance apart not really to show us anything not to create the triangle shape but simply because if you wanted to head on in if you wanted to change something in the bottom left you'd enter in the bottom left bunk if you wanted to change something on the right hand side you'd enter in the right hand side three easy access points to make changes to the map sneak into the world and who knows this is a very wild guess here and if this comes true you all owe me a million V-Bucks. Maybe we will actually see the opening of these secret bunkers at some point in the far future and actually watch as talking Fortnite skins, the overworld controlling Fortnite skins, enter in and they get caught off guard. So far, no one has ever revealed this secret. No one has ever found this secret because they're very good at what they do. But these bunkers exist. They continue to exist and they will forever exist as long as Battle Royale exists. So it all makes sense when you think about it. These bunkers need to be there so that the people that have created this Battle Royale Island can get in there, do their thing, change things and access stuff, but we can never access it and have never been able to access it because otherwise we could break our way out of the map. And as a result, that's Fortnite's little nod to letting us know that there's more going on in this Fortnite world than we first realized. Separate, obviously, to the bigger bunker, which no doubt will have a more obvious role in the Fortnite season. I believe we will always see the other bunkers around the map and they'll continue to be there. Otherwise, the Fortnite Battle Royale map would not be able to be altered and change and do what it does so often within the world of Fortnite, which is change and evolve. No matter how many maps we go through, no matter how many changes we go through, there'll be at least one of these bunkers always found as an access point for controlling whatever is going on. I would say, keep an eye on these bunkers, stick by them. You never know, something weird may happen by them, but to be honest with you, I don't think it ever will. These guys are very good. If anything ever does happen with these bunkers, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be linked into more something obvious, something that we're actually going to be shown and the whole world's going to see. For the moment, they're just going to lay dormant and they're going to be a mystery. But I think this is the answer. Fortnite obviously have got seasons and seasons and no doubt chapters and chapters planned. And if they ever do want to reveal what this big mystery actually is, it'll have to tie into the storyline as well. We know that Fortnite Save the World is unfortunately not going to be free anymore. We will always have to pay to get access to it but the linking of the save the world and the battle royale world is no doubt going to be more obvious as the future continues and with the last life event giving us so much information and such a mind-blowing scene with the talking jones skin we know that this season's live event and whatever comes next is only going to give us more intel let me know what you guys think if it's a solid theory do you agree with me do you have any ideas i think it's the best one we
we've got, and I genuinely think it is the answer. The whole world's being controlled. We're going to find out more, no doubt, as the seasons continue, and I can't wait. All of the latest news and information will be right here on the channel. If you haven't already hit that like button, check out more videos on screen here. Continue the Fortnite and awesomeness adventure of videos here on the channel. I'll see you over there. Click your favorite. Quickly click one. Have you done it? All right, go. I'll see you over there. Thank you to EA for sponsoring this video. The brand new multiplayer game Rocket Arena is out now. It's got crossplay. You can play it on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you prefer. There's a link in the description to check it out. Look, Lazebeam doesn't often take dedicated sponsored videos, all right? But I've heard from a lot of friends this is actually a really fun game. So we're going to give it a go. Yes, more importantly, I do have a mullet now. This is not sponsored. I did this to myself. All right, so this is practice mode. Let's see how the game works. The, it, the game has a whole bunch of different heroes. I am a pirate. That's the greatest pirate I've ever seen. They all have different abilities. I like this guy because he shoots anchors. I used to have a saying, people love anchors, boys. <laughs> now, this is just a practice robot. No one dies in this game, right? It kind of works like Super Smash Bros where you just kind of knock them out of the arena. Like you fill up that meter and then you knock them out of the arena. Yeet! Yes, they sold me on this game because they said literally you yeet people. So, like, I was pretty keen for that. <laughs> oh my god, look at his name. He's doing a brand deal. Oh my god. All right, I'm, I'm just getting practice in, right? Because I'm going to be playing with Fresh, but it's a brand new game. So maybe for the first time ever, I can carry him if I practice enough. Yeet! Dude, the entire recording is just going to be me screaming yeet. We are versing... Elliot and two EA employees. They are about to get destroyed. And we're gonna poop on them. Poop on them! All right, boys. There they are. Muzelk and the EA employees. Elliot's this green lady. That's our target. All right, first team to 20 eliminations wins. Knock All right, boys. To win. The lead with your cannons and rockets and stuff. Oh, I, I have cannons. I'm shooting Elliot. Oh my God. Yo, I combo right it. Oh. I just... Oh, oh, I just killed Elliot. <laughs> oh, good job, bro. I'm just going to hang back here, Fresh, and turns out this is another game you have to carry me in, Fresh. Good job, bro. Dude, I've gotten like Yo, four limbs. I'm fighting an EA employee? That Dude, is a, a fish. That chick is a... God gang the, gang the EA employee. What oh, I got him. Nice KO. Got Look, the only people I've killed are EA employees, but thanks, you know, thanks EA for sponsoring this video. Much... Much appreciated. All right, Elliot must die before this is done. All right, where is Elliot, this dude? Elliot, me. Help. I whacked him. Take him out. Whacked him. Yes. Oh, I got nice. him. <laughs> nice. I'm so what's going on, guys? I'll tell you what's going on. Rockets. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Mr. EA employee. <laughs> Get whacked. Oh, my hey, God. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this is too easy, dude. We got to kill Elliot for the final kill, Ooh. guys. Gang up. Gang up. Okay. Okay. We have to take out Elliot. No Wait. one shoot. No one shoot. Everyone gang up. Gang up. Gang up. We have to focus Elliot. He has to be the final kill. Where is he's he? At, he's on me. He's on me. <clears throat> Where oh, is God. he? No. There's no. Muzel. My second death. Take Elliot uh, out. I'm trying. I'm looking for first. him. Oh, wait. He's on at the front of the boat. At the front of the boat. I'm coming. Enemy spotted. Oh, I whacked him. He's low. Oh. Oh. Elliot's right oh. here. Oh, oh he's gone. gone. He's out of here. Oh. Elliot's G -G. gone. Very epic games. All right, that was a win. You had Fresh had 14 knockouts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the cannonball, dude. Because, you know, bitches love anchors and stuff. But this dude looks so dreamy. Elliot is now this child character. So that's our target. All right, this dude's a Come sniper. On. Knock out opponents to win. Nah, this dude's a sniper, so I don't even have to fight okay, people. I, I can just sit back. All right, boys. I will not rest until I've sniped Muzelk. You just got to wait. You just got to wait. Oh, I'm ganging this EA employee. Thank you for sponsoring this video, sir. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you for sponsoring. All right. Oh, I've got a ninja headband. I am now ninja. Dude, I'm getting done by him. This is a stream sniper. Got him. Oh, I killed Elliot. Beautiful. No, I'm falling off again. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, get wrecked, EA employee. Too now who's carrying, freshy boy? I am the carry now. We're in the lead. We're dominating. Holy, Holy crap. There's so much going on. This game is fun, but it's chaotic as hell. Yeah, this is fun, but I, I just have no idea what I'm doing. If I... Oh, I got him. Get wrecked, EA employee. I am the carry now. Whoa. There's Elliot. Okay, I'm, oh, I'm sniping him. 
Oh, I got he's gone! <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get over killing Elliot, dude. It's just... <laughs> I gotta hide, dude. I'm gonna die. Oh! All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm back in it, boys. This is a close game, this one. I'm hard carrying right now. KO Elliot! I'm on a Elliot spree! Did. What the hell? You just dumped it, Elliot. I'm an absolute... Okay, I, they got me back. They got me. I got ah. absolutely... Wow, I'm going on a rocket ship, man. All right, hold on. Let's let's make sure Elliot's the last one again. All right, oh. let's gather up. Let's gather up, boys. Focus Where's on getting together. Look at that little kid. Yeah, look for it. Let's smash the child. Got a boot on Elliot. Help. Oh, here he is. He's on me. Oh, yeah. I got a speed boost. He's taking me out because I'm already low. He's low. He's low. He's low. Fuck oh. him, boys. I kicked him. Oh. Charlie, I'm he's almost gone. I'm reloading. I got him. Oh, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. All I'm going to say is I felt like oh. I was getting bullied. I hard carried that. Okay. Okay. Somehow, somehow Fresh still beat me. I still did more damage and more KOs. 1v1 me. 1v1 me right now. You're on 1v1. 1v1 me right now. All right, let's go. Let's go. We've destroyed Muzilk. Now father and son battle it out. All right, Freshy boy. Father and son. Oh, oh, no, no. All I, right. I didn't do anything. So it's like the score is first to 20, but we'll say maybe first to 10. First to ten takes the dub. I'm All down right, for that. You ready? All right, you're so much bigger than me. I'm a thick boy. You are a thick boy. Three, two, wait, wait, one. wait, 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 wait. Are we Begin! Just gonna ah! Arr, okay. Pirates don't really? play fair. Okay, sick one. Oh! You started early, but I'm still gonna take you out first. I are pirate. Pirate noises. What the? Where are you? Oh Run my god! No! Oh! No! Oh, he got me! so close! <laughs> How did I not knock you out? I swear. Hello again, Mr. Beam. This is gonna... I swear this is not gonna be like a Fortnite 1v1. Captain Laserbeard. Oh! How are you not dead? Oh, no! I got him! It's a 1v1! So Very epic. All tied up, buddy. Oh, All right, tied Mr. up. Beam, Mr. Beam. Hup. Hello, hello. Oh, what the? Ah. I didn't destroy my damn little crystal thing. How are you knocking me up in the air oh. like this? Goodbye, oh my Mr. god! Beam. I got a ninja head. You're beard. such a nerd. I, w I, f I regret adopting you. Wait, what? How could you say that? Oh my god, you're too sneaky. You're too good at dodging. Uh, how are you not getting hit? Goodbye, Mr. Beam. How are you not? <laughs> God damn it! I don't know how you've done such nerdy behavior. Where are you? You're start ah. starting to learn how to use your little nerdy powers. Oh. And stuff. oh God! No! 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 no. Oh! Oh hell! Oh God! How are you not getting hit? Oh, oh my god! Let's go! How are you not no! getting hit? <laughs> oh my god, you are such a nerd. How are you I swear you've probably been sweating this game. I've not been sweating nothing. Okay, every time I put that down. Oh. How are you not getting hit by my rockets? Okay, here we go. You're so sneaky. Come on. It's all about the angles. Goodbye, Mr. B. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, I missed when this was 1v1. This is actually a lot of fun. Hold on. I've got Ninja's headband. Aww. That ain't going to do nothing. Oh, I just got you a trip mine. Wait, can I not shoot through that or something? He goes into... Oh, my God. It slows down the rockets, my thing, I think. Oh, my God. This is just like Fortnite. There we go. This is what we want to see. How do you do these combos and crap? And goodbye. Oh, oh my god, you I'm do so this? Holy. You fire too quickly, dude. Oh. I'm floating. Ow! And go. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god, where are you? Oh my god, your powers are OP. Goodbye, Lennon. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and that's the win. 10-1. Oh, 10 one. to 1. 10 to 1. Ah, doesn't matter. Different game, same result.
Uh, Damn. But how many bad. recoveries did you have? Yeah, wow, you had two more recoveries because you had to keep recovering. But that is Rocket Arena. That was a lot of fun. It's a very chaotic game, you know, a bit different to what I usually play. I'm agree with what my friends told me. That game was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't take sponsored videos normally, but I did enjoy this experience. So check out the game. It's cross-play. It's on everything. Links below. Good luck. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, EA. Yeet.